What is up, squad? I hope you're all well. It is about 6.30 in the morning on October 22nd. I am so glad to hear that so many are getting so much value from this podcast. And really, the goal of this podcast, as I say in the intro, is to share concepts, ideas, and modalities that will enable you to think outside of the box and essentially expand your mind. And today, I'm going to share a little bit of a story with you and then parlay that into the opportunity that NFTs create. Um, I had a different topic I was going to speak about this morning, but you know when you hear one of those songs that just reminds you of a time and it just brings you back. This was one of those mornings for me. I got in my car and the song, When Will I See You Again by Amtrak. If you're familiar with it, it's a really vibey song, a little bit lower lo-fi tone. And I got in my car this morning, I turned on the seat warmers because it's a little bit chillier, well, California chilly. And, uh, just kind of letting my car warm up before I drive over to the gym. And it's just kind of my, my normal routine. And this song was on and I instantly turned up the music and just closed my eyes and started kind of dancing around. And uh, if you can get the mental image of that, I hope that brings a smile to your face today. And I, I was just really feeling all of the emotion in this song. And I wish I actually could turn it on right now so you guys could hear it. Um, but hopefully you pull it up. It's called When Will I See You Again by Amtrak, A-M-T-R-A-C. And I remember a time in my life when I would listen to this song over and over and over. And this was a really low point in my life. And for those that know my story, you'll have heard this before. Um, but during this phase of my life, it was a really dark and difficult time. You know, I was I was living out in this area called National City. It's kind of close to the Mexico border. Um, I had just stepped away from a corporate environment that had really messed with my moral compass and my integrity when it came to sales and what I perceived as supporting others. So I left that company and didn't leave myself in a good financial position. And it was a hard lesson learned. I had about $33 to my name for the next nine days. Um, And I had like rice and beans and all of these things. Uh, Well, not all of these things. I had a handful of things to keep myself fed. Like ramen, all the stuff that we use when we're broke. Trust me, I have been there. I've been on both sides of the coin. And honestly, the grass is green on both sides. And with that, this song brought me back to that time. And I remember when I was in scarcity and going to coin coin star to turn in coins and hoping that they wouldn't take like a high percentage of how much I was turning in um, to the coin star. And if you've ever had that experience of taking coins into a coin star and getting that little ticket back and then going through the line to get that money, You'll know what I'm talking about here. And if not, it's a very humbling experience. And with that, I used to consistently tell myself that this is not how the story ends. Things will get better. And granted, I did start a business during that time. I started a health food company. It was a healthy donut company called The Protein Company. And we operated in San Diego as San Diego Protein Company. Three years later, after being on ESPN and tons of NBC, CN, CSNBC, KUSI, all of these news stations, hundreds of podcasts, magazines, all of these things, um, it led to that business taking off. And so obviously life looked a lot different three years later when that business reached the point of acquisition. That means that it was bought by another business and I was able to walk away and clean my hands. That was sold for an undisclosed valuation. And I remember during that time, I used to always tell myself, I will be happy when I have X amount of money, when I have this, when I have that. 
when I have the perfect girlfriend, when I have that penthouse in the middle of downtown San Diego that overlooks the Coronado Bridge, when I have that that Mercedes Benz with the, the convertible top and all of these fucking things that in the end of it didn't mean shit when I had them. And I'll tell you why. Because when I got to the end of that, and I paint this picture in my book, Smile, Be Happy, that I wrote, sharing this entire experience that I went through, because we always hear from people, money doesn't buy happiness, money won't make you happy. And we hear all these stories of people making money, and then suddenly they're unhappy, and they, they go on this journey to find themselves. And Maslow's hierarchy of self shows that when we get to that point, the very top of that is self-actualization. After you've fulfilled your core needs, after you've fulfilled your purpose and all of these things, at the top of that is self-actualization. And I remember the moment I was standing in my pet house that I lived in downtown San Diego. It was overlooking the Coronado Bridge and the sun was setting. And I, I was surrounded by tons of people around me. Most of them probably didn't give a shit about me. Um, they were just there because of the things that I had and they got to hang out in this awesome penthouse and post these stories to Instagram and all this bullshit that doesn't really matter. And I remember standing here in that moment and saying, none of this matters. I was happier when I was the guy living out in national city. So I know that was a long winded story, but what I'm getting at is this song brought me back to that moment when I had so much less and I was still incredibly grateful. And with that, it allowed me to reflect on really where I've been and what I've gotten to do up until now in my life. And it's an exciting time. Uh, I'm, I'm really humbled to share more about this amazing opportunity in NFTs because it, it is truly creating a lot of freedom for a lot of people. It is changing a lot of lives. And I'm, I'm grateful to be able to give this information. So if you're one of those people that feels like life is constantly hitting you down and it's just difficult and challenging, I can assure you that it gets better. And I can tell you from experience that you continue pushing forward, eventually life will work out. That's not to say you can't work or you won't need to work hard as fuck to get there. When I was building my business, even when business was going well, I was still doing things like driving for Lyft, trading crypto, flipping altcoins, and learning different ways to raise my necessity. A lot of you need to do that. You need to raise your necessity. You need to stop expecting all information to be free. And with that, I want to add on to that. There is no value in free. You are not going to find millions in information for free. You are not going to find information that is going to make you millions overnight for free. Now, you can go on YouTube. You can watch all the YouTube videos. Do you really think anyone on there is going to give away the keys to the kingdom? No, they're going to give you anecdotes here and there and you get to do your own research just like I have. I've hired people, I've paid people. I've lost my own money to how, learn how to do this stuff correctly. I've gotten scammed multiple times and that's how I know how to not get scammed. So regardless on where you're at financially and where you're at emotionally, understand that it always gets better. And if I could go back, I would do it all over again. I would probably just worry a little bit less because it always works out in the end. So if you're one of those people that is trying to get further in life and you are trying to raise your necessity, I strongly recommend learning more about blockchain, learning more about cryptocurrency, learning more about NFTs. I hope this was helpful for you, and I will see you on the inside. Chat soon. Peace.